What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip 20. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip 20, and I'm back. Check us out. I've got this unit in operation. This fan don't work, it's a window unit, so, and the fan don't work right here. So I had to put a box fan on it and, you know, tape up the gaps. That way it, you know, draws air through this coil right here, which is our condenser coil. And it's blowing heat out the other side, and it's removing heat out of this bucket of fluid. Technically this is water, and since it is water, well, you're going to be looking at uh, rust in here if it was, you know, you put any computer equipment in here. But for sure, this thing right here is going to be submerged in oil coming up. We're going to submerge this whole thing in oil. It is really cold. I can't keep my hand in here because it's so cold. It's, you know, 45 degree water. You can see this line right here starting to frost up. I did the whole video of how I built this system. I'm gonna have to do it again right here with that one right there. You'll see you see that window unit sitting right there. It's 24,000 BTUs. This is a 5,000 BTU unit. This is one fifth of the capability of that one right there. So I'm just gonna tell you it took about 15 minutes to you know to get this from 110 degrees down to like. 80 degrees so I mean that's a lot of heat that was removed out and I didn't have this shroud around it I just had the box fan laid against it but the shrouds around it now and it works much much better uh, and I, I'm I can't believe how cold this thing keeps on getting this I had the ice on these these cap these uh, YouTubes right here where I couldn't stick my finger inside of it at all. I mean, it was just so thick. It was crazy. I have the files if you guys want me to upload it. I can still upload it. There's just no audio of me talking about the job. You'll see me brazing up these connectors here, these connectors recovering the refrigerant, and then, you know, soldering in a new service port right here. I soldered in a brand new service port. That way I can, you know, operate it. You can see our temperature is uh, 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's about the temperature of the water, basically. You know, we just keep on removing heat. So the temperature on this other one is definitely colder. See, I'm going to check the temperature on the other one. And you can see that it's, you know, 28, 27, 20, 27. So it's 27 degrees on that one. And it is 44 on this line here coming back. That's, you know, refrigerator temperature. Uh, once this will freeze up, it'll freeze up. It's freezing as we speak. It's fr because it's so cold. You know, this line's going to keep freezing. It, you know, it, as we speak, I can see the froth, the water froze up right there. You can see it. It's out of the water right now when it's frozen. It'll freeze up all the way back to the compressor. Uh, it's removing the heat rapidly. You can see how it's sweating. This thing is really removing a lot of heat. And I'm going to try to run a couple graphics cards on this uh, in a mining setup. I'm going to mine some uh, Bitcoin or whatever. I don't care whatever it is just to test it out. We're going to test it out and mine a little bit with a, a CPU motherboard and two graphics cards submerged in oil and we're gonna see if, if I can't do that then what I'll do is I'll just play some games on it for a few hours or just turn a game on and run it for a few hours a day as a normal thing but I want to see if this unit right here will remove the heat out of one or two graphics cards running so we're gonna see how it works I mean you know big you know mining would be easier I just turn it on and leave it we'll see how that goes I gotta gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that but this is pretty much uh, what you're gonna see on the next video if you guys want to see me putting it together it's really simple 
basically, you know, the coil was right here. I cut it, cut it off on both of them right here. I put pipes in between here. I welded it up with the torches. And, uh, you know, I put the box fan around. I didn't record that. It's pretty much, you know, self-explanatory. Recovered the refrigerant into the big tank. Pulled a vacuum, wherever the vacuum pumps at. Uh, checked the temperatures. And then I had to charge it really particularly. Uh, this thing's running really well. I mean, you can see our, our temperature is dropping down here. It's 37 degrees. I can't see if you can see. But it's 37 there. The temperature is going down astronomically. This was a half inch thick ice when I turned it off last time. And I can't just keep my hand in here because it's just so cold. And I mean literally. It, it hurts my hand to have it in here because it's just so cold. So. Uh, I've got to get a hold of some oil. I'll dry out that coil. I'll insulate these pipes going back. I'll put a vapor barrier between the oil and everything else. And we're going to run a, a computer inside of a bucket that's super cooled oil. We're going to see how it works. I mean, this thing, it's awesome. I love it. I can't wait to get it going. So this is going to be a, a trial and error thing. I'll hope to find a very large aquarium just to drop the computer in. Uh, you know, but we'll we'll see how that works. We'll just we'll see how it goes. I mean We're gonna See how it goes the bigger the aquarium the better. This is about 10 gallons of water So I'm just gonna let you guys go on that. I want to say thank you for watching this video This is field 20 with solar power electricity and electronics peace